Okay, so let's do this problem. Uh, there was this uh, was a question that uh, somebody brought to me, one of you all brought to me, so um, let's do this before the quiz today. So this one says, ethyl chloride, uh, C2H5Cl, is used as a local anesthetic. It works by cooling tissues as it evaporates. The heat of vaporization is 26.4 kilojoules per mole. How much heat could be removed by 10 grams of ethyl chloride? Okay, so we have ethyl chloride. Well, this is all the information from the problem, right? So the mass of ethyl chloride, the molecular formula, and the heat of vaporization. Okay, so remember chemistry, right? We just want to cancel out our units to get the units that we wanted, right? And it said, um, how much heat can be removed, right? If I remember the exact wording correctly. So that's energy, right? And it's, so we'll just say delta H, okay? So that's what we're looking for. But we have grams and we have kilojoules per mole. And remember, energy, that's kilojoules, that unit, right? So we can, if we can get that unit isolated, then that means we've got the energy here. Okay, that we need it. So, um, in order to isolate that kilojoules, we have to get rid of moles, right? But we have grams. Yeah, Is there anything that we know that converts grams to moles? Yeah, what, what was it? The molar mass, right? <laughs> Everybody's freaked out with the video on, huh? Um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, the molar mass, you're absolutely right, right? How do we calculate the molar mass? We have the molecular formula, right? What will we do? Yeah, this right here. I don't know. Yeah, and look at the periodic table, right? Okay. So uh, carbon is what? So the molar mass of C2H5Cl. Carbon, there's two of them, right? And we got 12.00 grams per mole plus hydrogen. There's five of them, 1.008 grams per mole, and then chlorine is, uh, what, 35.0, help me out, 45 grams per mole, okay? So has anybody added that up yet? 64.49. 64.51 is what I remember. Okay. So we'll do five. We'll do five one since that's the way I calculated it on my paper. Okay. Okay. So everybody's cool with us doing this part, right? Um, so hopefully now you can see. Well, we've got something that converts grams to moles, right? And we want to get rid of moles here, so we're really set, okay? So um, let's just do it one step at a time so we don't get, you know, too um, confused about what we're doing. So let's do number of moles of ethyl chloride first. Okay, so we know how many grams we've got. And we want to cancel out grams and get moles, right? So we're going to put the grams on the bottom, right? Is everybody okay with that? So 64.51 grams and one mole on the top. Cancel, cancel. And has anybody done that yet? Down divided by Anybody got it? How about that? Is that what you got? Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Okay. And then, right, so what are we looking for? Delta H, right? We've got something that converts moles to kilojoules, right? And we've got moles. Is everybody understanding where we're going with this? So let's just erase our question mark because it's no longer a question mark. Put our 0 0.155 moles of ethyl chloride up there. And then multiply it by our ratio here that says for every one mole of ethyl chloride, it gives 
um, or it's able to take away, I guess, in this problem, 26.4 kilojoules of energy. Okay. So hopefully everybody can see, canceling out moles, moles there. And that's going to give us um, 26.4 and so three sig figs, 4.09. So it's going to remove 4.09 kilojoules of energy. Everybody okay with doing something like that? So remember, it's just canceling out units. So um, don't get overwhelmed when you see kind of a scarier problem like this. Okay. Questions before we kill it? Okay.